Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, today I'm just doing a real quick video, uh, a walk around of my Bobcat Zero Turn. Um, I'm currently on site right now. Uh, as you can see, I'm working on a big RV park. Um, I've already got half a cut, so I'm just taking a quick break. Um, so I've had the machine about a year and a half. I uh, have had to refurbish a lot on it. Uh, new idlers, pulleys, spindles, belts, uh, valve adjustment, all that good stuff. Um, it's been pretty good. Now I do have uh, two things jerry-rigged right now. As you can see, I have the seat switch bypassed. I have a new seat switch in, but the wires kept falling off. I haven't gotten around to fixing that yet. Uh, like I say, I have a new seat switch. And this actually just happened today. Uh, my PTO switch uh, failed inside. Uh, so I looked at it. You could tell as you pulled it, it wanted to. But uh, so I took it off and I'm just bypassing it just to finish the day. Um, I knew it was weak, so I have one on order. I should get it in a week. Uh, but yeah, so I think this is a 2007 model um, Bobcat ZT225. Uh, features a 25 Kawasaki. Um, <clears throat> other than that, it does have the 61 inch deck. And yeah, so it's been pretty good to me. Um, big fuel tanks uh, it does like the fuel when you're uh, uh, mowing heavy thick stuff but it is a gasser so to be expected uh, but yeah so this is what I've been running my small landscape business with um, now I am thinking about upgrading and maybe you guys can give me some opinions on it um, so I only do this part-time, um, but I do have one major contract uh, for an RV park. Um, <clears throat> if I had to say, there's probably five acres, uh, so I'm cutting about six hours a week. Um, and then there's trimming and all that. So the mowers I'm looking at, um, I kind of like the Kubota lawnmower. So I do have a Z726XKW 60-inch cut in mind. Um, so like I say, that's the 25.5 horse gasser for Kubota. Or do you guys think I should really upgrade and go for a diesel? Um, <clears throat> I mean, this machine has 1,270 hours on it, I believe. It's okay, but I would like to get something maybe a little bit more powerful. Um, so yeah, I got the half ton enclosed trailer. Uh, it would definitely hold a zero, uh, diesel, no problem. But, um, I'm curious to see what you guys think. Um, do you guys have any recommendations for a landscaping mower? Um, if you do, leave a comment in the description below. Yeah, so in a nutshell, that's my walk around of my Bobcat Zero Turn. Thanks guys, see you next time.